There was no runs allowed by the starting pitcher for the Seals in game two, Jared Milch. In the top of the first, there was a hit allowed, but, and right now we have a, right now there's a man on first and second with nobody out, and John Tuchillo is up to bat. First pitch, it's a foul ball. Count now, nothing and one. As Owen Hamilton, the starting pitcher for the Retriever, the 0 1 2 to Chill, swing and a miss, strike two. Count now 0 2. Nobody out in the bottom of the first inning. So, with a quick recap, the Seawolves using a two run bottom of the sixth inning featuring Ton Tutillo's RBI double that brought Chris Hamilton home and Evan Fox flying out to center field that was dropped by, the, by Christian Easley. Allowing those two runs as the 0 2 is a down low as Ryan, the catcher, tried to get the ball over to second after Giordano nearly left second and was able to get back safely. Count is now one and two. So Chill gets himself set up to prepare for one to prepare for the one and two throw by Hamilton. The wind up in the throw, both runners go, and it's a foul ball behind to Chilo, one and two. Almost a chance for a double steal, but instead, it'll just remain at the one and two count. With, with runners on first and second, and nobody out in the bottom of the first inning. 217 right now on the East Coast. Here's the payoff throw. And the ball is grounded, and that's not, that was in the field of play, but it went off of the batter, so it'll be another foul ball. Count once again remains at one and two. Stony Brook, 16 and eight overall, 12 and one in the conference, coming off of their game one victory against the Retrievers. The Retrievers are now 12 and nine overall, seven and nine in conference play. And Hamilton, the one two, and then he grounds it cleanly over to the shortstop, picked up by Roberts. It's a high throw over to Bellinger, goes over his head. Giordano will go to home, and Hamilton will get back over to second. And for Evan Giordano, it was a fielder's choice apparently, but Giordano goes home, and Hamilton got the second on an error. So that's how it'll go down. Another unfortunate turn of events. That that type of error was how it blew the game for UNBC back in game one. Very unfortunate. For Tuchillo, he gets safely on first on the fielder's choice. For Hamilton, he makes it to that on the E4, apparently. It's a catching error. And the ball hits Paradigm on the first pitch. And the bases are loaded with nobody out. No left fielder. Number seven, Evan. So already it's starting to become a little trouble for the retrievers early in this game. So now Evan Fox will come up to bat. In game one, Evan Fox, he was the one that drove in that hit out to center field that Christian Easy was not able to pick up cleanly, which led to the which led to the run for John Tachillo as he was able to make it all the way around home. UNBC had a good start to the game to the game in game one, but this start right here, pretty much the opposite. It's not really what Owen Hamilton imagined enough for his first appearance of the season. Or actually this is his seventh appearance of the season we would seem. He comes to Baltimore from the College of Marin outside out in Northern California, where he hit a walk-off home run in the bottom of the 19th inning to win his high school league championship back in 2017. So, Owen Hamilton will now deal with Evan Fox. We'll see if Hamilton tries to work his way out of trouble after, his already, after uh, there was already an unearned run for the Retrievers. The first pitch to Fox, he'll grab it over to the shortstop, picked up by Roberts. The throw over to second is successful. The throw over to first is not in time. A fielder's choice that allows Hamilton to get home and with the first out in the bottom of the first, it's 2 nothing. Stony Brook. So it is another fielder's choice. 
where this time there is an out. So, 2 nothing, 2 zip Stony Brook. We got John LaRocca now up to bat. For John LaRocca, he was 0 of 3 in game 1. The first pitch as the runner goes, and it's a foul ball along the left side of the field. It goes out of play for nothing and 1. You're really starting to see a lot of stolen base attempts. For, the only successful so far here in the bottom of the first has come from Evan Giordano himself. Count now 0-1 for Loraco. Pickoff attempt at first and he is safe. You imagine for anybody that's going to be on the mound for the Retrievers today, they're going to have to keep a very close eye on, on those batters, the ones who are on base. The 0-1. The runner going, and it'll be a, well, it'll be Fox moving ahead to second. It'll go down as the catchers down as defensive indifference. So man on second and third with one out. Pretty smart move by Evan Fox. See how this leads. The 0-2. He fouls it behind him on the left side. Cap remains 0-2. Seawolves led by Matt Sank, who has been with them beyond Division One. And it's given them all time seven NCAA tournament appearances, six of them coming from the D1. 2012, the best year ever. Nobody in the nation will forget. The 0 2, and this ball is flew out deeply to left field. Diaz is under it, and the catch is made. No, he loses a possession of it. It's another error. It'll be an easy walk over to home by Tuchillo. As Fox will move over to third, and you get the throw, and you get Rucka over to second, and that's the second error for the Retrievers in this contest.